Hey guys, welcome back to Snake Limited. I haven't done a clutch pull in a while because they're not the most exciting things in the world, but this one is very exciting. This female here, who is all over the place already, is a super pastel pied, 100% het clown. And she was bred to my pastel leopard, orange dream, possible yellow belly pied het clown male, who has already sired another clutch. This is going to be the first of three clutches of the season that will hopefully produce clown pieds for me. And this clutch looks absolutely huge. So I'm going to get mom off this clutch. I'm going to weigh her really fast, check to see if she has any eggs in her, rinse her off, put her in a fresh tub, and then we'll take a look at the eggs. All right, so mom weighed about 1,690 grams after laying. And we have here, let's see, let's count them. Two, four, six, eight. 10 eggs, which is awesome. She's actually a first time mom. Um, these all look like they're good eggs. So having 10 in this clutch um, gives us very good odds of hitting a clown pied. So when you're breeding a pied head clown to a pied head clown, your odds of hitting a clown, vis double visual clown pied is about 25% or 25% on the nose. Um, obviously you could hit zero of those um, or you could hit four or five or six of those um, I've had bad odds and had it work in my favor with clutches um, and I've had good odds and had it work against me in certain clutches um, but so these eggs weighed uh, 1065 grams I'm just putting all this info into husbandry pro 10 eggs 10 good eggs I think we're gonna candle them just to make sure uh, but they all look like they're good and that should fit perfectly in this egg box too. Um, so they are roughly about 100 grams a piece in terms of weight. Um, so like I said, she's actually the first female that I have laying this season that can produce visual clown pieds for me. Um, I only have one visual clown pied in my whole, well two, I haven't gotten the other one yet, um, but I've only had I only have one female and she should be ready to breed next year. So my whole goal with this is to produce some uh, clown pieds for myself, some more females. It's a weird shaped egg in the veins, embryos kind of sitting on top. Um, so the goal with a lot of this is really just to produce a bunch of clown pieds, obviously, and to um, produce more females for myself. So the other clutches I have um, I actually just made a video about the one female. It was a uh, clown, leopard, firefly, possible OD. That was a pos het pied that I actually had the shed tested and she did prove out to be 100% het pied. So she's bringing bread to the same male. She's about 20 millimeter follicles right now. So hopefully I have a clutch from her in the next two months or so. And then we also have a pastel leopard, possible super leopard, clown het pied female. Um, gonna give us the same odds of making clown pieds. And she's actually about the same size as this female. She actually should be laying here by the end of the month. Um, she had a, a pre-lay shed roughly around the same time as this girl did. So I think they will be, uh, hopefully have <laughs> like 20, 20 clown pied eggs all hatching and being laid around the same time and hopefully I have really good odds in that um, because I'm able to hit some really neat stuff. Obviously leopard works very well with clown and clown pied. Uh, I also have everything in this specific clutch is going to be pastel. It's either going to be a pastel pied or a pastel clown pied. Those are the only two things I can get. Um, at the very worst, but then I also have leopard, orange dream, and possible yellow belly in the mix from the dad. So I could be hitting four gene, three or four gene clown pieds out of this combo. Um, same thing with the other clutch I have going. Now that one, I could be producing super leopard clown pieds, which I don't think I've seen before. There's not a whole lot of difference between leopards that I've seen and uh, super leopards in terms of what the actual looks of the snake is, but maybe it creates something neat in a clown pie. I don't know. I've yet to see that. So I'm just trying to 
gently get these eggs apart so we don't end up uh, ripping anything. The four that I've candled so far look good. All the eggs, she probably laid these a couple hours ago. They're all hard, they're all firm, they're a little too well stuck together at this point, so they're kind of a little more, to be a little more delicate when you're pulling them apart so you don't rip anything. Now a lot of people use scotch tape if they accidentally rip an egg that open. Um, luckily, I've never actually had that happen. I've never actually ripped an egg when I've been separating them. Honestly, as long as you're very careful, I don't really think you should ever really have that issue, but I'm sure it does happen. You know, knock on wood that it never happens to me. Um, but scotch tape, I guess, is, has been the trick that I've seen that people have used if they've ripped an egg. Just, um, and then that third clutch that I have, hopefully in the next two months for clown pides, but she's a little smaller. She's like 2,500 grams. She will... Is OD Leopard Firefly um, Clown Head Pied. And I think she's going to prove out to be Orange Dream. And I hope that's the case because then it means that I have the possibility of creating super OD Clown Pieds with, you know, Fire, Pastel, and Leopard in the mix too, um, which was my hope when I bought her because she was priced as a you know possible head pied and not a, not an actual pied. Um, so I got her at a decent price last year when she was you know not breeding size yet. Um, but obviously a snake with all those genetics in it is extremely valuable. Um, and now she has the potential to make some really cool stuff for me this season. Now the other clown pied that I have coming I'll be making a video for that um, I'll probably end up seeing pictures on Instagram before I actually get there um, it's coming all the way from South Africa and I'm finally I think I purchased this mail jeez oh, I, I think I actually purchased him two or three months ago and it's just taken a really long time uh, with the export process to get to get it here so he's actually due next to get in here next week so I finally get to go pick him up um, but he's a clown pied in a very striking looking clown pie male and he'll be my guy for next year who's hopefully gonna do some really big things for me so all this all it works together um, you know I try to make sure that most of my projects can intermingle with each other so that my genetics in my snakes aren't uh, like kind of one trick ponies I want to make sure that they work together no matter which project I have them in so that um, I'm trying to rearrange these a little bit because some of these eggs are a little bigger. They just fit. I don't love these hatch trays. They, I haven't gotten the dragon hatches yet, the ones that are, that are diagonal. Most of the time they fit in here, and these ones actually do fit in here okay. So, anyways, back to the snake. Um, yeah, the export process has taken a while. Um, they, they were supposed to come in in April originally, and then May, and then June, and obviously we're in July. Um, so we're here now, and um, it's finally in America. Uh, obviously the 4th of July shipping was crazy, so we're getting it next week, which I'm really excited about, so I'll definitely have a lot uh, of video about that mail as I get him. But these are going to get put in the incubator roughly two months, which will be the beginning of September. These will be hatching, and you know, fingers crossed, hopefully I get more good odds with these eggs this season. Um, that will be producing some uh, hide, hopefully more than two clown pies, maybe four, maybe five. If I'm, you know, I'm not pushing my luck, it would be really cool. So um, that's it for today. I'm getting them put in the oven. In another, I think, two weeks, I should have the other clown pied clutch. So thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.